Something that's supposed to brighten the 4th of July leaves a local man badly injured. Good evening, everyone. Well, you think of sparklers as harmless things, the things that kids play with, but investigators say a local man turned them into an explosive. An accident sent him to the hospital and his troubles may not be over. Local 12 News reporter Larry Davis joins us live in Butler County where he says this is part of a growing trend that is worrying deputies. Larry. Hi, Rob. Well, over the 4th of July weekend, you saw sparklers everywhere. As a matter of fact, uh, there was not one Hamilton store that we checked out today that had one sparkler in stock. Now, as a matter of fact, uh, they may, while they may seem to be the least dangerous of all the fireworks, deputies say that putting a bunch of them t together can be downright dangerous. We've had an accident with fireworks. We've got a man down. We need somebody here now. The accident happened here at this farmhouse on Schallenberger Road. Friends tended to the victim as others called 911. Okay, what's his injury, sir? What have we got so far? We've got a serious load again. We've got a serious ankle injury now. We've got a serious ankle injury. Investigators say an explosion inside a refrigerator, similar to the one seen here in this YouTube video, went off Saturday night. 26-year-old Eric Stapleton suffered a serious ankle injury when shrapnel from the blast struck him. The source of the explosion, a sparkler bomb. Sergeant Jason Rosser with the Butler County Sheriff's Department's bomb squad says contrary to what people may think, sparklers can be dangerous. Sparklers, uh, you got to think they're burning at about 1400 to 1800 degrees. Uh, so if you put a few of those together, uh, they sometimes can have a devastating effect. Sparkler bombs are becoming a new threat to fireworks safety. Sergeant Rosser says they can not only do serious damage to objects, but the people who use them. Uh, it could possibly, you know, remove your hand, remove your leg, uh, cause internal injuries. Uh, any kind of explosive device being a firework or even possibly a sparkler, it could burn you. It could give you any kind of numerous injuries. Any one sparkler can cause burns. Several together can have a bad result. You're asking for a bad burn. And Rob, I want to point out that sparkler bomb was placed in a refrigerator that was actually outside by a barn on that farm uh, property there. Now, investigators with the sheriff's office here and the state fire marshal's office are continuing their investigation. It remains to be seen whether or not any charges will be filed. Sergeant Rosser says basically if you want to see a big fireworks show, let the pros take care of all that. Live in Hamilton, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Larry, interesting story. I think The first thing I think about with uh, fireworks is sparklers, and we give them to our children, don't we? Exactly. I remember, uh, yeah. you know, giving them to my kids when they were very small, and they just stood there and hold them. But when you group a bunch of those together, you got problems. Good information. Larry Davis, thanks very much. This is not the first incident involving a sparkler bomb. Last year, a Dayton, Ohio man lost a couple of fingers when he and another man used sparklers to build a homemade firework. The other man suffered a leg injury.